Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. We've had technical difficulties. Oh, yeah. There was a buzz in the room and it wasn't us. As We're buzzing know. now, though. We are. We Come are. on, Joe. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Wonderful uh, wherever day. Wherever you're listening, um, thank you for choosing the Sloppy Joe's podcast. Mm. Whatever this episode may be. Because mm. well, I have no the... fucking clue what this episode is. You've lost be. your head. Ethan's lost his no, head. No, lost her head. It's just like, it's just, I just want to, we want to give back, don't we? Mm. And it's just like, oh, we're not, we're not giving not givers this Christmas. We are. I'm always a giver this Christmas. We've got loads coming up. We've got the 9 out of 10 club coming up. <laughs> we've, we've got, got a sl- uh, we've what, got. What, we, what have we got? Joes. What have we got? 9 out of 10. We've got everything. We've got everything they could ever want. We've got patron exclusives coming out. What's up Breaking Joe's. What's going on? Just been chilling out, mate. Are you all right, Ethan? Uh, yeah, I'm still sorry if you're still listening and the audio is terrible because I'm making what do with a different device than usual, so I can't really hear it. So. Yes, I'm over the moon. Delighted to be here. Very um, transparent with our listeners, and we should be. Mm. Not every day is great. No, and I think that I feel feel great. You, you feel great because you probably had a good lie in this morning. No, not really. What did you do this morning? Woke up, had a bit of a cry, had a nice chat, did a run, went for a five k. Nice. That was good. Then came here. The five k was great. It was really good. Why? Actually. Why was it so good? Just because I, th- I did it slower than I normally do. Normally I go out and I run and I think, I need to prove to everyone I can beat sort of marathon pace. Yeah. And then I, I end up being sick after about two and a half miles. But this one, I just thought, I'm just going to go a bit faster than walking. Do you listen to anything when you run? I was listening to a, a podcast this time. What was it? <laughs> Does it sound as fucking depressing as this why one? Is it, why are we so depressed? Look Imagine at this. people running Look to at the soundtrack. I'm either. ill as well. Look, my voice uh, sounds horrible. We're all horrible. fucking ill. Yeah. We're all ill. I'm ill. But you're I'm just not masking big... it very well, are you? I That's had, the problem. I've just been up today. I uh, met a guy who dressed as Santa Claus and did CPR on an eight-year-old man. Brought him back to life. And when the guy came back to life, the eight-year-old man went, ouch. And then couldn't believe that Santa was bringing him back to life. So I've been doing that all morning. And here I am with Ethan. So it just feels like the Christmas blues before Christmas even here. Are you ready for Christmas? Because last time you, we sat here, you Monday. weren't ready at all. Put the tree up. Yeah. Well, that was good. The tree's nice. We've got a proper tree. Let's have a look, man. You slag my tree off. Let me see yours. I've not taken any pictures of it. Oh, yeah, really? I'm not you went, any you, you of went it. towards your phone then to yeah, get a I picture. Because there's definitely a picture of that tree. No, no, there's definitely not. I thought I did, but uh, my phone was playing up. So I actually did. And that's not me taking the piss either. Have I got any of the tree? No, I've got a really cute one of my dog looking at Becky's shepherd's pie, and that's not a euphemism. Look how cute that looks. Add that in. Oh, that is nice. It's actually. cute, isn't it? Quite fancy spoons, those. Yeah, thank you very much. Who are you? Uh, I robbed a lot of spoons at my... Um, I robbed loads of cutlery once when my dad's uh, at my mum's 50th. Um, where from? The, wherever we had it. I think it was a pub, and I just... And in the night, and that's what they are. Yeah, yeah, I've kept them ever since. Great fun. Really? It is good fun, that's isn't, bad it? Though, isn't it? Do you uh, like I feel Steve? sorry now. I was only 16 when that happened, but you, it's oh. travelled, yeah. I've oh. kept them. Uh, Who's 50th? My mum's. Oh, no, maybe I was oh, Maybe I was 20 then. Yeah. Because mum's, what, 56? I'm 27, so 21. I was old enough to understand you what I was doing. To not but I wasn't really in the hospitality industry then. I didn't really know how much a fork cost. Yeah, now, obviously, you're in. You're I would have took half as much. I you still want to rob you some. Still rob some. Yeah. Ethan, um, obviously, it's a, it's a special week for you this week. Mm. You've got a, you've got time off. Yep. But you, here you are with us. Yep. It's, it's a delight. Yeah. Are, we, are we actually reco- are we recording? Did you press record on the Zoom? Uh, yeah, we're, we're recording on the Zoom. I, okay. I can't really hear any of the audio levels at all, so I have no idea how That shouldn't be the case. You should be able to hear us. Well, I... I <laughs> It, it's coming through on the on the on the thing, like the 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 numbers are coming up, but I can't hear myself. As no. long as that's the case, we should, should be fine. Should we it? should. How be are you? How are you doing up until this technical nightmare that you've had to just do? Oh with then? well, had a had a lovely day um, yesterday. Uh, went to go pick up Manisha from the airport, so going to spend the week with her. And obviously, from the airport. From the airport. Where she, she flew from? here from Kent. No, she got the bus here because <laughs> of the train strikes. So. Wait a second. So, so why from? were you at the airport then? Well, she got the bus to the airport. It was oh, an eight-hour right. bus. Eight hours. 
Did you pick her up in your mini? No, I, I don't have the mini yet, so I, I had to get a, a, a taxi in the end. Um, so it was about a 40 quid round trip to the airport. Did you not think I'd just get into the airport? Was oh, there yeah. no bus that got into Manchester Piccadilly? Um, I, d- I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't really look or care, did you? Like Leave that to someone who doesn't know Manchester well, whatsoever. It's, it's Leave that to Manisha, and then you can just sort of complain about having to pay for the taxi. Is that is that what you thought? Well, you think the process was? It's fucking massive. The airport. So it is big in it. What huge. three terminals? The taxi didn't cost money going round the airport. It was getting there that cost the money. Well, well, well. Yeah, but I also didn't know. Like, I, I'm not very good at, like, navigating myself around this whole massive airport. So I didn't really fancy getting the tram in, because I thought, where the hell does that take you? I was going to say, the there airport? is also a tram that goes from the airport to your house, because yeah. I've got that tram before. Yeah. That costs less than 40 quid. Yeah. So you're whinging about this, this, yeah. this taxi. Poor Manisha, when were making Manisha feel making guilty. Making Manisha feel guilty, because you spent 40 quid of your own money. Who's in the room today, by Who's the way? Who's here, by the way? Hi, Manisha, you don't have to come on camera, but we'll wave. We'll wave to her. We'll wave, we'll wave. Um, uh, if you, so you're you making her feel wait. guilty about spending 40 quid on taxis, but that was very avoidable. Well, um, after uh, the live show, obviously I'm bawling now. So <laughs> really oh, he's bawling! <laughs> <laughs> what did you nick from the live show, Joe? Because presumably you nicked something from there. No, but we... I think like, I feel like the live show, we just... We bought so many props for the live show, yeah. and none of them came with us. We binned everything. Yeah, but I don't think we even binned it properly. I think people nicked it. No, it's like I don't know where we all put we put it. Up. I think I left a few pies in a dressing room. Yeah, yeah. Ethan's yeah. Um, there's some a box of street waffles still at that venue. Is there? Ethan's oh, I, little I, Tonka car that ended up in the back. In the bin, we just booed yeah, it yeah, near the wall, booed didn't we? In the bin, booed in the bin. Ethan, what's on your uh, sort of itinerary then for the week that you got off? Um, well, I was wondering, uh, Drew, if you wanted to go to Buddy Jackson's with us later, but I feel because of the delay of this podcast, you might be striking that off. Yeah, I've got to go home now. I've got I've got my quiz later on today. Oh, well, I'm going to a pub quiz myself later on today. But not mine? Uh, well, it's... Surely well, you're not going surely. to a quiz that's not Joe's. Why wouldn't you come to my one? Where, where is your... Where Where's is your one? one? Uh, the Grafton Arms. I haven't been in a long time. Where's that? You? Where is that? What part of uh, town it's, is that? It's next to the hospital. Um, it's, it's just like a, a mad pub with some mad characters in there and I haven't been in a while. And I just, I just <coughs> miss some of the people in there. And I love the quiz. Best quiz, best book quiz there is. No, there was no, 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 no. That's not true, is it? That's not true, is it, Ethan? Is it? My book quiz is this pretty one, good. This one's quite interactive. So like, you can like, you do it on your phone and that, and like, it's like a big projector, and like, you get to see like the live league table, and when you like jump up and down. I know you probably would have that kind of tech. No, because it's boring, that, isn't it? Live league table. Just fucking write a pen and paper. So he's going to a pub quiz tonight. And it's not yours. It's not yours. Can I also bring something up? Come on. You fuckers. Oh, shit. Twice I invited you to a New Year's Eve party and ah. none of you has responded. I wanted to talk You're about You're probably cooking a chilli or something. And also, as well, in your build-up to why you can't do anything, you've let slip that you're cooking Sunday dinner or whatever for your mates. Me and Ethan still never been invited around to anything you've ever done. So all I'm saying is I'm a giver. You're, you, you, you take, 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 but then none of you has responded. Twice I So the New Year's Eve... And you, Ethan... The- did you tell Manisha I invited her? Uh, I, I didn't see this message. Twice I've sent it. Yeah, he did send it twice. I saw it both times. Excuse me, my voice is breaking because I'm a bit nervous. But here's what I'll say is... It's not a good podcast today. It's not just up to me whether I come to that. Why? Well, because I've got other people to think about as well, haven't I? Who? Lizzie. I'd love to come to yours for New Year's Eve. But I can't because I'm in Dublin for New Year's Eve. And that's already we planned. you were back. No, we're going over on the 30th. Stretch for Palette Live. And then we've booked a, a, two nights in a hotel. We're staying there till the second. So I should have replied, but I apolog- unfortunately I can't What's come. What's your excuse, Ethan? Uh, sorry, what was the question there? I was too busy doing the audio. <laughs> this much this much fiddling, constantly <laughs> silly throughout the audio. The audio is going to be all over the place, se- isn't it? Se- seemingly, like when one of you look away or whatever, the audio, when you're still talking, the audio drops significantly. So I have to keep... Pushing up and down and all that. What are you doing on New Year's Eve, Ethan? That uh, was um, New Year's Eve, I don't have a clue, don't have any plans. Could come and see you, Drew McGrath, there for No, I don't like the word could, so you're not your off. Well, what's, what, <gasps> what's the, the thing you've got to remember about Joe is he is quite a sensitive. I am a sensitive person. Yeah. Well, Christmas plans as well, Ethan. We haven't been invited to anything Joe's doing. What do you think? What do you think I'm doing? You said you cooked a Christmas dinner for your friends. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I'm not cooking. You Christmas got your list dinner. up went Friday Christmas dinner for me. No, no, no. <clears throat> oh, tomorrow. What after a shit, I've got a call. Ethan. Tomorrow. You speak too loud, Ethan. Tomorrow, Christmas <laughs> Christmas dinner. I'm not cooking it. 
It's at Lizzie's friend's house. So th- no, not my place okay. to invite anyone. Friday, yeah. my mates come around for dinner. It's not a Christmas dinner. It's not like a Christmas thing. Right. You just come around. Did you did you invite your mate to yours? He sort of brought it up and we were like, he was like, oh, we should do something for Christmas. And then it was like, whose house should we do it at? We decided to do it at ours. Oh, wow. But it's not like- so a, you can like, host stuff, can you? Of course, you're invited oh, well, around all the no, time. No, you say that, we never do. In the summer, you're like, come for a barbecue one yeah. day. That invite never came. Oh, well it did. And now, Christmas is coming. We've not, your door's slammed shut. We're I not allowed invited in. you to the Alex multiple times and you've not come. No, you, when was the last time you went to the Alex pub? About two months ago. Yeah? Right, and I invited was, you. No, you didn't. I did, and you couldn't go. Why was that? You're upset today, aren't you? I'm upset today. I was supposed I to. Be, this is the Christmas mood. Where, nothing says Merry Christmas like that tree there. Is that how what you is feel? that tree? It's a twig with some bits on it. Don't worry about that. What's the, how can we get you into ready for the, ready for Christmas? Because that's oh. all I want. All I want for Christmas is you to feel better. Tinseled helps. Ethan? We ain't got any tinsel. We've got some tissue. What would you do with that? Just wrap it around you. Like a sort of Christmas mummy. <laughs> do you think the mummy celebrated Christmas, Ethan? Um, oh, your mummy certainly does. <sighs> Dear me. He's girlf- he sat next to yeah, his girlfriend. That very odd, that. Yeah, that, that. Manisha, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Ethan, uh, she's giggling along, but she's, she's not giggling. happy. Yeah, she's wearing um, words with you. Here's what I want to say. I think you're highlighting something very important about Christmas. Because, really, we're all expected to be in the Christmas mood, the Christmas special, the Christmas holiday, the Christmas this, the Christmas that, the Christmas dinner. When really, it's just another time of the year to feel let down, isn't it? (laughs) And that's what it mostly is. The gifts are shit. It makes you realise the people who are around you don't really know you, don't really love you, don't really pay attention to the things you're interested in. You don't get invited to the things you want to. Everything's so built up. The Christmas party is the worst one of the year because oh, it's, it's raining. No, I'm, nah, I'm Christmas, is, uh, sh- Christmas, Christmas is Christmas is shit. class. Christmas is class. Oh well, it used to be class. And now what I'm are you doing for Christmas? Adulty. What are you doing and for Christmas? Like, oh, there's like fucking bills and stuff to pay. It's like why can't I just be a kid again? Circle stuff in an Argos catalog. Mm. Eat celebration boxes for breakfast. That was good. Talk me through your Christmas day growing up. That's what I want to hear. Yes. So you, you wake Merry up. Merry Christmas, everyone. You wake up. Wake what's up the first dead thing early the because obviously the excitement's been built. So what time are you waking up? And, and who's Santa's in the house? Santa's been. There's just me, my sister, and uh, mum and dad. Santa's <laughs> been already, so that's happy days. Happy um, days? I think he's been. Like, Santa's been. Oh, happy, no, that's the happy thing. days. We don't know if Santa's been yet, so me and my sister would sit at the top of the stairs. And mum so would what, check if what, Santa's been. Sorry to interrupt. So the stocking, is that downstairs? We don't need stockings. No stocking. No. Ethan, thoughts on no stocking? What are stockings? I've, al- I've always loved um, a pair of stockings myself. Oh, for yeah. fuck's sake. Answer the question. What's your mum's stockings? I was actually referencing um, your mum's stockings. Oh, before no, you. we can't. We <laughs> <laughs> can't do this. Uh, so, uh, what is your Christmas very routine, very Ethan? What time are you waking up? Well, um, I used to like on the, on the night time. Used to go out and like put out the magic dust for the reindeer to find the house. Then we used uh, to wait. 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 What? Cocaine. Th- yeah. When you because obviously now you know Santa isn't real. Was someone in your house addicted to cocaine? Did it come in little bags? Pull out the uh, magic dust for Santa. There it is. <laughs> Just a big Imagine a big gram of coke on the table. High as a kite on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Give me one of the mince pies. What, he's been up all night. He went pop me as well, which is yeah. weird, isn't it? What the joke does. You leave out a carrot, a mince pie, and a gasp. lovely bag of coke. <sighs> I've got a couple of film ideas I've never told anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what so magic it, dust? So it's, it's, so it's like sparkly dust to help the um, reindeer find the house. Oh, but do you know what? Obviously, it's all bullshit. Oh. But if you were if you were a reindeer, how patronising is that? For thousands, for millennia, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. been finding yeah. every fucking kid in the world, and then now it takes little gobby Ethan to leave some sparkly dust out, like we wouldn't have found it anyway. Dasher and Dancer are fuming when they see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah. Patronising. Patri- Patronising. Yeah. Patronising. So you sprinkle magic dust, yeah. all goes well. And then, One will be on the floor, hoovering it up. <laughs> and then and then what would happen? And then um, we'd, we'd, we'd go to the laptop and we'd go in the Santa trucker to see where Santa is. So Fucking hell. What are you talking about? <laughs> right, let's get to HQ. 
What's Let's track this bad boy down. Santa Tracker. Where is he? I'm you at this point. Just, that going, sounds... just going past Wellington, uh, New Zealand. Well, this is exactly... That's a, miles Tru- away, Tru's making fun, but that's exactly it. So, you're like, you, you just sit and you see Santa flying over the globe and it tells you, like, what, what country he's in, what continent he's in. And you can get all ready to go to bed, so you can... What world he's in. Yeah. So, then you wake up in the morning. What time are you waking up? Oh, um, I'd get up quite early, maybe, like, nine o'clock. Well, it's quite late, that. <laughs> well, what actually, what usually no, happens... No, what? Is that I joke? Up, but I thought early what, what, seven, innit? What, Kids, what, early for a kid is 5 a.m. Well, what would usually happen is, like, my, like my mum would go out, like, uh, to be grands to see... Um, to give her some magic to dust. To see, see my cousins and that, like, little cousins, but I would never go, so I, I wouldn't see anyone usually until about 12 p.m. Is this a joke? No, I would, I'd get up about nine and I wouldn't see anyone for about three hours. Ethan, just, Ethan. You used to be home Ethan. alone for three hours. Is this ser- are you Kevin McAllister? Is this serious? Yeah, yeah. So you wake up on Christmas morning at yeah. nine, which yeah. is already two to three hours later than every other kid in the world. The, I'm up well early. I'm seven. Yeah, I'm up at seven a.m., 6.30. Easy. Yeah. Oh, it used to be. And then the house is empty until midday. Yeah, so sometimes I just wander around the house and that until like... This isn't We're real. Are you messing? No, I just wonder. This is the saddest fucking thing I've this ever is in my your, life. So your mum would leave you on Christmas morning? So, well, just just to go see, like, because I wouldn't be up early enough to go see, like, the, the kids opening the presents, my c- the, the cousins, so I would just get up around 9, 10. Wait, how, how old are you? I'm just like, this is like, maybe 13, 14 or something, I don't this know. This is the saddest it's thing. It's still quite young, no, isn't it? I thought you meant no, 7 or 8. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe, el- maybe 11, 13, 14. Or not. This yeah. is the saddest thing I've ever heard. Your you Christmas is awful. Awful. Sad, isn't it, Ethan? Are you okay? Have you, got, you ain't got any brothers or sisters what, either. What, so what? you're literally in a cold, empty house all morning on Christmas morning. <laughs> like, looking through the window, seeing the kids across the way, all hugging their mum and dad, it's hugging like a their film, presents. Isn't it? Like, so She'll what? be home <laughs> soon, I hope. <laughs> that is awful! <laughs> I'd get lots of presents and that, though. So, like, Christmas lunch is class. Yeah. Wait a sec. One, you think, one, wait, wait, you one, think Christmas dinner is, one, is, it, is you a present? Well... Well, one Christmas we just had a um, steak. <laughs> See, this feels... Uh, to the steak, viewer, I bet this wild. feels like this is set up. This is all happening One live. Christmas she had steak and... Like, with what? Like steak and chips and that. Really? Steak and chips for Christmas? Who is your mum? This Fucking is mental. Jim Davidson. Just what is going on? Just thought it was a bit... Sam Allardyce. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your mum? Why are you steak and chips for Christmas? <laughs> Where'd you like it? So you, first of all, your presents, uh, were you, you, you said the Christmas dinner was like your main present, is that right? No, 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 sorry. I, I'd, no, I'd get like some like proper your presents stuff in. that. Okay. What? What? What kind Say of stuff again? would you get for Christmas? Say that again, Drew. What kind of stuff would you get for Christmas? My best ever present. <laughs> It, that's not what I've asked, but you've yeah, asked what you want to answer. producer would skip to the correct... He knows what he's about to yeah, say. Yeah, go on, go on. What's your best ever present? All right, I'll just try and have a thing. Once got... Um, try to think. When I was a kid, I got a massive Dalek. That was class. Oh, yeah. That would, like, drive around and that. Got Could a you get inside it? You drove around in your Dalek. No, it's just, like... Just like remote control and that. Well, I've, I thought it was like one of those mobility scooters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you saw oh, Ethan just get Davros like that. inside. Yeah, yeah, that's so unbelievable. Have you, have you got y- any stocking behaviour? I oh, know like, we've never done stocking. Stockings okay. are for so back to you then. Stockings for a bit like, odd, aren't they? You're sat on the top of the stairs, seven thirty a.m. You and your sister, mum and dad. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. Go check if Santa's been. Roll down it. What? Just to roll down the stairs. You get that excited. Yeah. Practically roll. Roll down. Santa's been. Uh, and then you got presents on the underneath the tree or on the d- yeah. And you just crack on, find your own, open them. Happy days, mate. Yeah, it's nice, isn't Anyone, it? And, and and no stocking. No, st- I don't get. Why are you stock- not doing stocking? Do you stocking? For me, the stocking was the best bit of Christmas. What do you mean? Because here's what happened. Just a big. Sock. Here's how you instill <laughs> magic in a household. All right. None of this has Santa been. We wake up Christmas morning. There is a stocking at the foot of the bed already. Someone's come in and, and done it. Santa's been in the room. Right. That's how you instill magic. Magic. The first thing you wake up to, stocking at the end of the bed, full. That's your Terry's chocolate orange. Big pressure That's your on Mandarin. the person putting the stock in there, yeah, isn't it? Not once were they caught by anyone. Really? Unbelievable footsteps. And my mum's got a bad back, so you know how that must have been. Next up, in there, that's just sort of your little gifts. Maybe like a little plastic slingshot. Maybe some face masks for yeah. my sisters. Maybe a sort of, you know, a bouncy ball or one of the things you stick to the wall and it goes splat. That kind of thing. You, you grab your stocking, 
go into Ellen and Hannah's room, wake them up, sit, we all sit on the bed, like the fucking kids from Peter Pan, Wendy and Peter and all them losers, yeah. sat there, going through this talking, what have you got, what have you got? Phenomenal. Then you go in and wake mum and dad up. I got sent in because I was a favourite. What time is this? This is now about half seven, eight, because oh. we've taken our time through the Ethan's stocking. Ethan's just fast asleep at his house still. Ethan's still asleep. Ethan's mum's giving gifts to other people. Yeah, other yeah people's partying kids. still. Off her fucking head. <laughs> She's back here, boy. She's still in 42. Is no one picking up? Um, back to mine for some special dust <laughs> that Ethan sprinkled on the, on the mirror no, on the table. No one needed to eat anything on Christmas Day. She was hungry for ages. <laughs> She'd get up on the 30th going, fucking, I'm starving now. Uh, <laughs> then we go downstairs. There's a row of Coke Coca-Cola. Hey! <laughs> Ethan's <laughs> mum's been. Whoa! I just get down the chimney. The, uh, there's a row of Coca-Cola bottles with a ribbon tied around each one. You got a Coca-Cola for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, what yeah. That's, that's just to just to just to start things. Just hold on. So straight away when you get up. up on Christmas Day, you have a bottle of Coke. No, but that's just there to sort of adorn the ah, table, okay, okay, right? Okay. Then Dad's got the dad who is just too slow for everything. Yes. He's putting the tape in the tape recorder. No one nice, go in yet. Nice, yeah, and my yeah. mum's like, why didn't you charge the batteries last night? Oh, just yeah, a second, it's on charge now. That kind of thing. Then you get in there and it is just a fucking free for all. Paper everywhere. Whose is that? Mine, I've opened one of yours. Fuck off. <laughs> all that. It was the best. The best. Christmas dinner is burned, as we've already established. Oh, Christmas dinner was bad in our right? Christmas dinner was burned every year. We get, Delicious. We got boozy. We get boozy. Oh, Do you? Yeah. Oh man, we can have our first beer about eleven. Next thing you know, once, once we forgot about Christmas dinner, we were that pissed. All of us, we were so pissed, and, that, and that's a lot of us. Just ordered a kebab no, instead. No, we, 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 Christmas dinner was in the was there ready. Um, chaos. So Christmas dinner was ready, but we were boozing, and then someone got the tunes out, the Irish tunes out, and everyone oh. was singing and top of tables. And then saw doctors. We were like saw doctors, um, and I was then spinning some Manchester tunes. It was great fun, singing dead loud. Um, and then we were going to say, oh, should we eat now? And this is about 6 p.m. Fucking hell. We're absolutely steaming. And mum gets the prawn cocktail out. Does right? she? Yeah, she does, yeah. What did your dad make of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not in public. Day. Not in public. What a day that was. Prawn cocktails out. She's got. She's bought all these jars of, no, the pots of prawn cocktail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, she just lines them all up like that. She's bought loads, too many. You only buy too much, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Undoing the fucking lids, boom, like that. She's getting them all ready. We're pissed, all pissed. And then she goes to play up. Boop. She's just put the sauce. <laughs> There's no prawns. It's just fucking prawn cocktail sauce. So we all have to fucking it's have... Just it's just soup. Mayo. It's just soup. We've just got prawn cocktail soup. Mm, like that. You ate it. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't eat it. Christmas. Of course you fucking did. So you ate did. just cocktail. Just dip a bit of bread in there. Yeah, just a cocktail. No prawns to be seen. I mean, to be fair, you're already boozing, so an extra cocktail. Boozing, yeah, thing. yeah, get no it No prawns to be seen. No, no. No prawns to be seen, dead upsetting, but we cracked on, and then we just got absolutely leathered and just partied to dad. That's the day I, uh, probably one of the worst hangers of my life was Boxing Day that year. Mm -hmm. I thought it was all over. Did you? Yeah. You, you I've the, been, the mental I've, block I had, I couldn't see to the 27th. Really? <laughs> We're not making it Not in it a bad year. way, is it like, I yeah, thought just I like, going to die. Yeah. Yeah, not not, not like you want I will, to, no, but, but just because you couldn't yeah, possibly gone, make it's gone. it. I've drank with you a few times, obviously, and when you're going for it, is that you why you don't invite me to places? No, come on, be be honest now. Okay. Is that why you don't want to go to New Year's Eve with me? Because you know, no, it, New it Year's will be Eve a big one is the thing. New Year's Eve is a write off unless you want to come to Dublin. Been there, right? Great crap. Then it's then I can't do anything. I'm in a different country. Do you know what I mean? I'm still I'm still in the Eurozone yeah, for yeah, New Year's yeah. Eve. I can't do anything about that. The other occasions, I've invited you to the pub. What We've been out to the pub. Yeah, we went yeah. out drinking the other week. You went home early. When was that? After the live show. Oh, yeah, well, that was a big one, that, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, that was just a big day in general. Yeah, it was a big it? day. But, but it's just me and you kicking a chill. I know, we need to do that more. Just more. Oh, is that what this is about? No, mate, mate, it's what it's about. I just feel like you don't like the way that I just get pissed. No, I love the way you get pissed. Do you feel like do is there? Do you feel like I don't? I feel like you could, you know. I mean, I feel like we could all spend time together. Ah, oh. Ethan, Ethan can bring his mum down. We know what she's up to. And that's what Christmas is all about, isn't it, Ethan? Um, getting coked up and drunk. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> What are you talking about? With magic for? dust. Oh, yeah, sorry. God knows what the magic dust so is. So what was the Christmas dinner like in your house then, when you were just steak and chips? No, that was just one year. But uh, no, it used to be, used to be. Class, my stepdad's a cracking cook, as I said on the live show. He loved that little reference. 
Um, just, you know, like pork, belly pork and a uh, mm. bit Jesus. of beef. Uh, we never have turkey, turkey shite. It's not the best, is it, turkey? <laughs> I understand it, but I do like it there. Yeah, but it makes sense as to why we we use the bird as it is. Because a chicken's not big enough for nine people, is True. it? True. Whereas a turkey, you can be, you can have a table of ten, eat as much meat as they want, yeah. and there's still stuff for leftovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. It's your classic bulk buy, isn't last, it? It's uh, your bulk bird. Last Christmas was gutting because I got COVID on the 22nd of December. And means we were inside, just me and Becky. But we had a great time, but it was upsetting not seeing family and friends. Yeah. Um, Becky said, I'll do the food. No, she. I'll do the food as in me, Joe mm. will do the food. Becky will do the drinks for the day. Yeah. Which is great. Anyway. So it's just you two. Just me two. Little me two. Us two. And we're cracking on. Food's gr- food, food's good. Food was looking good. But by midday, the boo starts you'd, to get ready. At this point, right. you'd, presumably you'd already had your cocktail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd already yeah. had your little sort of ketchup and mayo soup. Becky comes to me and she now. says that I've got this cocktail called the Grinch, right? Which was, I think, in some respects, a drop of Prosecco, a drop of gin, a little bit of lime juice Ooh. to make it green, and then lemonade, okay? Right. So, okay. at 12 o'clock, she makes one of them, and I start double parking, so I've got one of them at a Magnus. So say again, it's gin. None of those ingredients are green, by the way. The lime juice. Lime juice is, lime cordial. Lime cordial, yeah, right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, so, so gin, so gin, prosecco, lime cordial, lemonade. And lemonade, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. So as the day progresses, and I get not upset because I love being, with, loved obviously being with Becky, but you know there, there's families around there having a good time, and I'm here. I'm just, You're looking through the window like Ethan at eleven thirty. This is AM. like the fourth day stuck inside being in isolation. It does your head in. I start double parking Magnus and the, the Grinch. Magnus and the Grinch. Then Becky says, "I take things into my own hands." Oh no! And her Grinch cocktail that she made so wonderfully well and was delicious. I made, which she described as a double shot of gin, mm. a little bit of lime juice topped up with Prosecco. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> right, she's, this isn't the Grinch anymore, is this it? This isn't the Grinch. This went evil, can evil. Yeah. Apparently, six o'clock, I am... I mean, the food was delicious, by the you way. You know you pissed when you start the sentence with, apparently. Apparently. Because that means you weren't there yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gone. completely off you my trolley. You were compostable trolley. at that oh, point, I was compostable. You? So hopefully, I'll have a better Christmas this year. Oh, I enjoyed it. Me and Becky had a great time. We did. T- we got the Taskmaster book out. Oh, yeah. We did, oh, we're doing tasks all around the house. It was great fun. But then she said I just went Shit vacant yourself. after seven. Really? Vacant. It's gone. Eyes ah, gone. Eyes I've seen you when you get in that mode. It's great fun. Yeah, it's great fun. Um, can you do 9 out of 10 Club as I top up my parking? Absolutely. Right, so the 9 out of 10 Club, where every week we bring something to the table that we believe is 9 out of 10, food-wise, food, food and drink. To the, this week it's my turn, and I've, I, I was thinking a few weeks ago, I was thinking, are we going to run out of stuff for the 9 out of 10 Club? Because there's only a finite number of foods and drinks, and eventually we'll run out of things that we all deem to be nine out of ten. Yeah. And mm-hmm. obviously that may happen one day and there's there's a plan in place for when it does. But then I was thinking, hang on a sec, there's loads of stuff that is sensational that we still haven't put in. Okay. And I thought, we're going all this way with kimchi, with super noodles, with, you know, <coughs> calypso, whatever yeah, it is yeah, that yeah. Ethan brings in. And I thought, let's just strip this back to basics. Mm-hmm. Let's just get in some of the things that are truly the greatest food and drinks on earth. Okay. I'm bringing something in today that I don't think is just nine out of 10. I think it's 10 out of 10. For me, a part of my life, it may be the most consistent, enjoyable thing in my life. F- not even just food and drink, just anywhere. Right. And I can't believe no one's brought it in before. <laughs> You're right, Ethan. I'm Looks bringing so. in to the nine out of 10 club. Very simple. Coffee. Specifically, a flat white. Now, how on earth are you upset by that? I've brought four if Manisha wants one as well. I'll bring you yours, Ethan. Thanks, Drew. Talk to me about uh, flat white. What? Oh, what's up with you? Fucking coffee. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Throughout this whole recording, yeah. I honestly thought it was hot chocolate. Like a festive hot chocolate. Chocolate shit. Chocolate's not shit. It is. So in front of us, for the audio listeners, we've all got a small flat white, which mm. has seen better days. Yeah, it's, it's been sat around for 30 minutes, so... Not an hour and 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, oh that's a sip. It's so good, though, isn't it? Coffee's nice, yeah. Why not? <laughs> What what is what is the, what is the knock here? You brought in fucking tin tomato soup by Heinz, and I bring in something that we all drink every day. Ethan slightly less so, but I know you drink multiple I coffees do, a I day. Do I like coffee? I like coffee. You don't? I like coffee. So you you, you no no right, I'm, I'm ready for really. Ethan. Ethan James, what are you thinking? Um, I think um, just turn my audio up a little bit more. Um, I think it's Still crap. It I hate this. <laughs> I, d I don't like it at all. You it's, are? It's, it's, it's crap. It tastes horrible. How is it crap and it tastes horrible? I don't even get to think I get to the three out of ten club. Oh, no, no, that's bad, that Ethan. Ethan, talk to me. You don't like hot drinks at all, do you? What hot drinks would you like? It's not hot. <laughs> yeah, that's your fucking fault because you can't plug a fucking mic in. That's why. So oh, pretend it was hot. Pretend you're competent and the drink is hot. But in a world where it would isn't, <laughs> keep talking. Very crispy, I think everyone. It's just. Oh, he needs a second sip. It's crap. I'd prefer a hot chocolate. I honestly but thought this isn't a hot the, chocolate. Look, what would we prefer, club? Is it? Joe, Do you know what I mean? You got to play the crowd here. Did I'm you? not playing the crowd. If we're not putting coffee in, I don't know what the fuck the nine out of ten club yeah, is. You've gone quite specific. Specific. With the flat white. Well, what coffee and milk? What a radical combination. Would you not have gone for the cappuccino? <laughs> to, to quote Larry David, who'd have thought? Coffee and milk, what a sensational idea. Yeah, I know. I, 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 that's not specific, that's as generic as it gets. You've, you've really let the side down here. Right, okay. That's why I... I should have just brought something shit in that no one likes like you normally do. That's instead. what I'm... I brought something in that you literally it's drink not, hey, don't multiple turn it on of a me. day. You what? You're you're just let me turn on me instead. Just a necessity, isn't it? Right. Did water get in? Yes. No. Yes, it did. Oh, did it? Yeah. In the live show, we got <laughs> oh, put in. Yeah, great. You and also you brought water in. That's what I mean. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know what I mean. Right. <laughs> uh, coffee's good. Don't get me wrong. I like coffee, but I right, it's not in, is it? Ten. Okay, it's not in. All right. Yeah. Um, if it was the three out of ten club, Drew, I think you you're balling. Yeah. Yeah. We could put it in there with you, couldn't we? <laughs> but, uh, which is good because uh, I've brought in a plan B. Great. Not the rapper. Is he still going? I brought in something we could all uh, try to see if it is in the 9 out of 10 club. Ethan, what do you think I've got? Oh, um, a mince pie. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see. If the Dairy Lee Dunkers oh. are in <laughs> <laughs> the 9 out of 10 club. You fucking better be, otherwise yeah, Ethan's in trouble. You fucking better be, Ethan. <laughs> Your Ethan's integrity in, Ethan's is in trouble on the line. line. This is where we see Ethan James lie I about the quality of the Dairy Lee Dunkers. I I can only find three in my bag. Because so you ate one on that. the way in. Ethan, oh, no, no, no. Me and Joe will share one. Yeah. Ethan James, let me bring these over. It's for Manisha as well. Don't right. One. Dairy Lee Dunker. There you go, Manisha. Happy birthday. It's given up birthday presents Joe. as well. Thank now. You. 98 calories per tub, which is pretty low, but then you don't get that much, do you? To be so fair, last week's episode, uh, this is what Ethan bought Manisha for her birthday. Mm. And it, can I just say, it went down an absolute treat. It was the first present that was opened. I bought the jumbo ones. Wow. And she just couldn't believe her look. I've never seen her cry before. That's she First of all, that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you meet on Tinder? <laughs> When she saw him. When she walked into the bar and you were sat there, she fucking wiped a tear away. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. Right. Yeah, I'll get loaded up and you can go first. These ones are much better than the breadstick ones, aren't they? Yeah. The tubes. They're really dunker. They're not bad, you know. <laughs> they are nice. What do you think? What do you actually think to me, think? Because obviously... You weren't mm. buying them saying they were amazing. You bought them because Manisha likes them. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the last time I've had a Dairy Dunker, to be honest with you. Did you um, try before you buy the other day? Um, no, I just... just you know, they're fucking massive, so that's what enticed me. Um, they're really good. It's it's better than coffee, isn't it? It's good. It's a, if you honestly think... Yeah, it's a good point. You're going to wind me up by saying that Dairy Dunkers are better than coffee. <laughs> You've got another thing coming, because that is well, the most Well, that's why, obviously, the, the Dairy Lee Dunker industry is much bigger than the coffee. It's, yeah, famously. Isn't it great when you go to a, a, a Dairy Lee Dunker stand in the middle of a, a busy high street? 
<laughs> I've got instant Dairy Lee Dunkers through there, but they're not as good as the proper ones, are they? <laughs> Just put a little of that Dairy Lee Dunker powder and then you pour hot cheese on top. Even James, a Dairy Lee Dunkers, nine out of ten. Well, I'm... Um, I think I just, with someone sat behind me probably glaring at me right now, I'm going to have to say yes. No, you can't. You talk about integrity. You talk about... He's a man with no nine integrity. Out of ten the thing is, with Ethan is... And you're he's, getting persuaded. He's consistently been a man with no integrity. Yeah. That's, that, is, that goes without saying. He's allowed political agendas to cloud his vision on every single week of the 9 out of 10 club. It's not about taste or food or integrity. It's about vendettas and politics, and it always has been, and that's, we have to accept and love yeah, that yeah. about Ethan, that's but fine. the word integrity but has never been associated oh, with Ethan. No, 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 I, uh, oh, okay. No, listen, I think I am an integ integral man, so, I, 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 I've listened to what you've said, Drew. I've, I've listened, I've, I've, I've listened to what you said, Drew. Um, whispering, it, whispering. It, it, it doesn't get in, it's not oh, in, it's not in, it's not in. It's not, is it? They're nice. They're nice, but they're not. No, I can't believe coffee didn't get in. I'm so sorry. About How has coffee not got in? <coughs> Honestly, I don't know. I've uh, got another feature, surprise feature, if you want mind doing it. Do you know, like Joe versus Joe is on a break, but I'm for, I think in the new year we'll have to bring it back to see who wins overall. It's yeah. one all. I thought we'd do Ethan versus himself. Boom, 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 boom. Ethan, I've got some questions for you. Oh, all right, Drew. We're going to test you. Joe versus Joe is normally me versus Joe in a battle of uh, yeah. smartness, wit. That thing. Have you got your uh, phone on you? I'll Just to take notes, I, if I, possible. I do We're going to do a quiz for you, Ethan James, to see how many you get right. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm up for that. This is a surprise, but um, yeah? I'm, I'm ready for it. You like surprises, don't you? You do like surprises. You ready? Ooh. God, that audio was horrible there. Don't shout that loud. But yes, I'm ready. Question number oh, one. Oh, fucking hell. Stop. What? It's just loud. All right. Yeah, don't talk. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Go. Question number one. What is Manisha's favourite film? Oh, God. Have you got the answers from Manisha already? No, 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 but I will do. <coughs> um, so we'll have to get Manisha to announce the answer before Ethan says his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do I do I need to write this down? Yes, me? definitely. Yes, yeah, so I need to write it down. And Ethan, what Ethan will do is, can you see Manisha there? Uh, no, but if, if Manisha, would you be able to just stand here? You won't be on camera, but just so you can tell us the answers before. All you've got to do is say yes or no if he gets it right or not, because we've got to put him into the test, you see. He's always testing. Now, I'd like her to announce the answer first, okay. and then Ethan shows us his. You've got to write down, or should he say, should he say what he thinks it is? No, Manisha goes first. Because I don't want. I think he might cheat. No, he needs to write it down first. I can show. I can show my answer to the camera. Okay. Have you read it? What is Manisha's favorite film? Okay. Should we? Should we reveal? Should we reveal? Manisha, what is your favorite film? Begin again. Begin, Begin again. Begin again. And Ethan put. Oh, I, w I think I was close. I put um, Bollywood shite. <laughs> Right, one nil to Manisha. Uh, question number two. Fucking hell. Is that racist? Did Manisha? That's racist. Do you have to cut yeah. that? That's racist, racist. yeah. You have to cut that It's not racist. Sorry, it's, it's not racist. Oh my God. Uh, question number two. Did Manisha have any family pets? And if so, what were they called? Yes, I, I know this one. Oh dear. Have you written it down? Want the type of animal? Yep, I've, I've wrote it down. I can't believe you said that. Okay. What is it, Manisha? Oh, what was your pet, uh, family pets? Any family pets, Manisha? Yeah, I had a beagle called Homie. A beagle called Homie? Um, Ethan? Yes, I've, I've written, if you can read that, it says Homie. Maybe it's not in focus. Can but bring it back towards your face because that's where it's in focus. Oh. We believe it. Oh, it's very little. Homie, I believe you. I'll, I'll do it bigger from <laughs> now on. <coughs> Question. So you got one point. He's got one point. What is Manisha's ideal date? Date night. Ooh, date night rolls around. Yeah. What would Manisha like it to be? Mm. And How does that look? What it's really like, not this Bunny Jackson thing you're going on. Oh, well, so, shit. I, mean, answer, uh, I don't okay. think the answer's going to be Premier League years either. <laughs> but Newcastle finished second. <laughs> I think Keegan actually was, did the right thing. 
They did have to go to New uh, to Forest. Right. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, uh, let me think. Okay, you can't. <laughs> 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 sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just, just making sure. You should know, shouldn't you? Um, three, two. Maybe one. Ethan goes first on this one. We need an answer. Go on, Ethan. What was just the ideal date? Well, I, I was going to say a trip to Buddy Jackson's, but that was um, that was scrapped. Maybe um, what else shall I whack in there? Well, the, should we just go with that because that's the answer you've got? And maybe just a bit of a just a just a night in. That's not a date, a is night it? In. A night in. That's like fifty percent of nights. Or, like or a, night a, out. a trip. You need to be more specific. Or a trip to um, this place. I'm going to write down. I'll see what she says. Well, then, okay. mini ship. Whilst she writes that down, where's your, ideal, your ideal date, date night? I was going to say Bunny Jackson, but since you <laughs> said... She was going to say Bunny Jackson. What is um, it? I'd go fish and chips in Blackpool. Oh, fish, fish and chips in Blackpool. Blackpool. And what did Ethan you Ethan James. Ethan? I'll put the Adelphi pub in uh, Preston. <laughs> <laughs> the pub in Preston. <laughs> and final one, so who is Manisha's favourite artist, music artist? Oh, okay. Um... Shit. You can't. You're not allowed Don't to just say, say answer number one again. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 Um, favorite musical artist. What's your favorite musical artist? Just. Uh, um, I don't know. Blossoms. Maybe. Yeah. Stone Roses. The Smiths. Any of that. You love it, don't you? Yeah. I love it. You proper love it. You. It's a shame about Excess Manchester, isn't it? Okay. Nah. You were right in there. Yeah, but shit. <laughs> Slagging it up. Right. Ethan James. What's Manisha's favorite artist? Actually, no. Manisha, can you reveal the answer first? The neighbourhood. The neighbourhood. There you go, uh, neighbourhood. Yes, there you got that one. Well done. Thank you. Did Thank well you. there, actually. Thank you. Thank you. What did you get? Two did out really four. well there, Ethan. Thank you. How did you how did you suss yourself? Uh, like, how was it for you? I got about fifty percent, didn't I? So that's uh, really strong. That's Better than he got in his degree. <laughs> so that's not bad. You know what I mean? Better than he got at school. I, I got the first of my degree, actually. Oh, I love that. Okay, Good no. stuff. So this is probably the last time we'll see uh, speak to our lovely people before Christmas. Unless you're on Patreon. Oh, and if so, yeah. you'll be getting a Christmas special where we're going to be reviewing all of the festive Christmas offerings for all of the big chains. You're talking the festive, the, the festive pie from McDonald's, the festive bake from yep. Greg's, all sorts. If they're bringing it out, we're trying it. We're talking coffees from Starbucks. Yes. Every single thing really? you can possibly... Yeah, everything, mate. Big, big bill, aren't it? 700 quid. No, I'm not everything. spending 700 quid. So if, check out the Patreon <coughs> if you haven't already. What's How your are you feeling now compared to when we started? Because this... you, It's been tough, hasn't it? It's been tough, and we just got to be... It was tough to start off with, and it's not, It's just a nice... It's just been nice, hasn't it? Do you feel all right now? <laughs> Do you feel a bit better? Um, maybe. I just wanted the listeners to know, like, we, we, we tried. We tried. We did, though, didn't we? I think it's been good. I enjoyed it. You just... It's not ready for Christmas, are you? I'm not ready for Christmas. What are your hopes for Christmas, Ethan? I'll ask you the same thing, Tom. Probably world peace would be number one. Mm. Crikey, for Christmas. But if you can only have peace in one country, which would it be? Ukraine. Good idea. Great answer. What's your hope for Christmas? What do you Spend want Spend time with loved ones. Yeah. Do we get invited to more places? Have people respond to my invites as well? Yeah, well, I've responded. Oh, it took me to bring it up to you, didn't it? Prompted in real life. Um, quick fire Christmas round before we go. Go on then. Favourite Christmas film? Go. Home Alone. Ethan? That's oh. what it's fucking is. Home Ethan. Alone as well, yeah. Yeah, I bet it yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. is. It's like a documentary for you, that one, <laughs> it? Yeah. Get out. His mum's gone as well. Do you know the bit where it, on Home Alone where she goes, Kevin! Either's mum never says that bit. Not asked. She just gets back and goes, oh, fucking hell, you were here. <laughs> <laughs> in his what's own piss and what's shit. What's your favourite Christmas film? <laughs> in, yeah. in his hutch. <laughs> in his hutch. <laughs> We've got a massive hutch in the garden. Yeah, massive that's where you slept on Christmas what? Eve. Massive hutch, it's uh, got t- two levels to it. Has it? What do you mm-hmm. mean? What's the, what's the hutch for? For the rabbits, but one, one of them. Oh, we replaced Your mum killed another animal. No, Is no, that what you're saying? No, you j- she ki- how many? How many on her on her list now? Two guinea pigs, a hamster, two a beaver, two three, three rabbits and a cat. She's like Fantastic Mr. Fox, your mum, isn't she? No, she's, she's killer, sorry, she's not killing them all. These these are the pets that we've lost in my time. Yeah. Maybe we can do a little um, thing at the end of the podcast where we have the pets rolling by and the years. 
That'd be some nice. Slow yeah. music and black yeah. and white. Yeah, right. Ethan can edit that. Um, it's very what's Christmas your favourite Christmas uh, song? I like uh, Santa Claus 2. Two. Watched it last night. What a fucking film. Why have have you, you seen Santa Claus? I've seen the Santa Claus 1. Yes, yeah, fuck it. Why have you not seen 2? Because 1 was fine. That's great. Uh, favourite Christmas song? Um, probably Merry Christmas War is Over. John Lennon. What's yours? Stop the cavalry. Ethan? What's yours, Ethan? Um, Lonely This Christmas? No, it's uh, Christmas Lights by Coldplay. Of course it is. He that is awful. Jesus. That is tragic, that, Ethan. <laughs> oh, Christmas lights, light up the sky. They do, it, so they do it with a lot more passion and vigour than that. They don't know, do they? No, they don't. They don't. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite item on the Christmas menu? On the Christmas uh, plate? Uh, roast potatoes. Ethan? Um, I like belly pork. No, nah, it's not. It's, that's, I'm not accepting that. Pigs on and the, blankets. Right, yeah. No, Every I year don't know we many people have belly Christmas pork. pork. Or yeah. do they not call it pork belly? People call it both. It's open to interpretation. <laughs> like, like. Honestly, Merry Christmas. Merry fucking Fuck Christmas. <laughs> we blame the technical difficulties, but we've got some thinking to do here. I hope everyone can hear this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... Be oh, a miracle if you can't. Just ex- right. It's it gets into this. You are peaked, sloppers. It's peaked so many times. I, I, I apologise to all of you, and I hope you have a merry Christmas. Yeah, we just had a really bad build up to this one, and I, I we, it's a Christmas miracle we got it complete. But we've been here for a while. Hopefully they've enjoyed it. You brought fucking cold coffee as the last. Do you know as the last thing before Christmas, a cold flat white. What did you bring last week? I brought. Chili cheese bites, which were a fucking disgrace. They didn't get in. Yeah. Disgrace. I, I bought some from Tesco last night because I was inspired. They weren't as nice as your ones. Unbelievable that they didn't get in. So what's our final words to the sloppers before Christmas? Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. You all right, Joe? Yep. Just, just... Pick it up. I am all right. Pick it up. All right. Pick it up, Ethan. Right. See you later. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry get, on, Christmas. Get, on, get on Patreon because we've got a Patreon Christmas special coming. Get on Patreon. <laughs> Just get on Patreon. We'll be better then. Fuck it. Yeah. Wave, Ethan. Oh, yeah. Uh, bye, everyone. Have a Merry Christmas. <laughs>